Okay, so today I'm going to be making a loaf of bread and uh, I want to get it on video because my daughter has been asking me to make this for her so I can show her how to use her KitchenAid that I had bought her a couple years ago for Christmas. So, of course, the procrastinator that I am, I'm finally getting around to doing it. So here we go. We're going to start out with three cups of all-purpose flour. A half a cup, this is whole milk. I warmed it up in the microwave just to get the chill off. This is one half cup of water. When you, it's just regular tap water under the warm water, put your hand under the faucet so it's a little bit warmer than your wrist. Two teaspoons of sugar. This is one and a half teaspoons of salt. And this is one and a quarter teaspoons of instant dry yeast or also known as one packet of yeast. And this is a half a stick of butter melted in the microwave for about 25-30 seconds, depending on your microwave. Yes, I wrote on my uh, table, it's those washable markers, comes in handy. I leave notes for everybody. Reach back here, you have your dough hook. Today I am using the KitchenAid. Um, small batches like this I would kind of use my elbow grease and knead by hand, but today KitchenAid. So let's get you up on the tripod and uh, we'll continue on with the instruction. Okay, so because I'm not a professional cook, I'm just a home cook, take this for what it is, and uh, this is, nobody measures out their stuff like this. So this is what I do. You just take your salt, sugar, mix it in with the flour a little bit, throw it aside. Take your warm water, your yeast, Pop it in the water, give it a quick stir, okay, warm milk, that can actually be a little bit warmer than my liking. So pop that milk back in the microwave for another 25 seconds. You want that to be about the same temperature as your water. Okay, so I warmed up my milk a little bit more. The yeast is good, it's starting to foam. Grab your milk, plop that in there, give it a quick stir. Toss that aside, grab your mixing bowl. Okay, three cups of flour, all purpose. With your salt and sugar. Take your milk and water and yeast, throw it in. Take your melted butter, give it a quick little stir, throw it in. Pick up your messes. Quick little wipey woo. So let's bring this over here. I don't normally leave this on the table. So take your mixture. Put it on your Janaid. Electricity always helps. Plug it in. Take your dough hook. Put it on. Lift your lever. Now you're going to go on to both. <laughs> All right, so make sure your power supply is on. Bring it up to about level four slowly so you're not throwing your flour around. So we're about at number four. We're going to let that go until everything combines together. And yes, kitchen aids are noisy, but they're not that noisy. This microphone just picks it up louder. So we're going to let that go for about a good six to eight minutes. We want that to combine all together. Just sit and let it do its thing. So we'll be back as soon as that comes together and I'll show you. So when it comes together like this after about a minute of mixing at speed four, drop your speed down to three for about another 30 seconds. And uh, then we're gonna drop it down to two just so it will need for that six to eight minutes. So I'm going to drop this down one more. And I'm always playing around with the speeds and you just keep an eye on it. What you want to do is make sure this, the dough comes together and it's going to pull all the flour off the edges of the bowl. Alright, so I'm going to let this go. I'm going to tell Alexa to uh, set my timer for 68 minutes and we'll be back. Okay, so this has been going for 6 minutes. We're going to shut it down. Oh, your lever. Fight with the hook to come off comes off. Take your bowl out. I'm just going to unplug this. 
and toss this out of the way. Take your dough and just form it into a nice, neat little ball. It doesn't have to be perfect, and all I do is I just tuck it onto the side like that. Okay, and ball. Back into your bowl. Okay, now what I like to do, and I know a lot of people don't like doing this, but I do it. Nonstick spray. After you spray your dough, leave it in the bowl. Grab a nice big towel. I think this is my daughter's, the one that I'm showing how to do this, so she's going to be commenting. That's my towel. You left it here. It's mine now. Anyway, wrap your dough up. Set your timer again for another hour. And uh, your dough should be rising and doubling in size. So we doubled in size a little bit. I'm going to actually let this sit in here for another, oh, I don't know, 15 minutes to see if it's going to rise up a little bit more. I just want to have it more fluffy. So let's cover this back up. Set the timer for another 15 minutes. Alexa, timer for 15 minutes. 15 minutes, starting now. Thank you. Okay, so... I let this rise for about an hour and 15 minutes or so. So we're gonna uncover it. This is what it should look like, doubled in size. Put that aside. Dust your work surface just a little bit with flour. Now you're gonna punch down your dough, deflate it. it should be nice and loose. And what I like to do is just roll out the dough into like a rectangle. Something like that. Okay. So this is what I like to do. People do it differently. But I start at one side and I just roll it up. into a log. Oh, what is that doing there? Get rid of some of your flour. You don't want it too floury. Get your baking sheet. Okay. Put, put it on your baking sheet. And we're just going to make the ends a little pretty. doesn't have to be fancy. Tuck the other side in. Got a little bit of edging over here. That's okay. It gives it character. Don't worry too much about it if you're worrying about it. Just roll it until you find a nice smooth spot. To me, it doesn't matter. It's all going to taste the same. Now we're going to cover that with a tea towel. And what I like to do, put a couple shot glasses, put your tea towel over it, hand towel, whatever towel you want to call that again. I think I said that before in my previous videos. And we're going to let that sit for about an hour or so. Once it gets to a height and size that you think you're going to like, that's when you're going to pop it in the oven. Okay, so this dough has been rising for a little over an hour and a half now. I got sidetracked. So, but as you see, it rose very nicely. And here I have an egg wash. One egg with a little bit of water in it. Take your basting brush and gently go over the loaf. You don't want to push on it too hard because you don't want to deflate it. What the egg wash will do is give it a nice sheen to it as it's baking. This is, this is optional. You don't have to do this. I do this because it makes it look pretty. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect. So once my oven gets up to temp, I'm going to put the temperature's getting up to 350, then we're going to bake it in my oven for 30 minutes. Every oven is different. I have one of those double ovens, so the top oven is smaller, so it gets hotter. So like I said, 350 for about 30 minutes. Okay, so my temperature's up to temp. Just gonna grab that. Throw that right on in there. Okay, taking you for a ride. Let's open this up. It's been 30 minutes. Try to get this out without running myself. Oh, doesn't that look pretty? Okay, I can make my oven mitt off. Now to tell when this is done, see how nice and golden brown that is, right? Now tap it. It's got a nice little thud to it. That's how you know it's done. I'm going to let that cool and take it off, and uh, then we'll slice into it. So we'll be back about five, five or ten minutes, something like that. Okay, so here's the bread. 
nice and golden brown. A little crispy on the bottom, but that's okay. Now, I have plans for this loaf of bread tonight. I'm going to be turning it into a, uh, a French bread pizza. So, I will only um, cut a little slab off the edge. Just to show you what it looks like on the inside. Nice and fluffy. Nice and soft. Let's give it a taste. Mm -mm -mm. Very good. So, like I said, this was a recipe for my daughter so she can try out her KitchenAid. Now, I expect her to make one and show me the results. So, if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And um, hopefully I can start getting some more content up on a regular basis. I'm such a procrastinator. Take care, everyone. See you later. Bye.